What's up YouTube? It's Eric. Um, got a new camcorder, so hopefully the resolution is going to be a little bit better. So this is sort of a test video. Um, need to feed my snake, so I figured I would show you guys that real quick in case you haven't seen it. This is my ball python. This is going to be interesting because I can't find my tweezers, so I'm going to have to hand feed her. So let's see how this goes. But uh, here's the mice. She should be on rats, which she is, but I ran out of rats, and this is all I have left. Check her out. So she's going to get two of these mice. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> she missed. All right, let me try this other one. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't really ready for that. I don't ever hand feed. <laughs> Get a little scared. But she's ready, man. She's hungry. Check her out. It's right there next to you. As soon as she gets this other one, I'll grab that one out of there. Alright, here we go. Whew, makes me nervous. <laughs> Alright, so she's going to chow down on that. Let me get this other one out of here. There we go. I'll let her do her thing. I'll feed her that one later. Alright, so. Shell Dweller Tank. You guys remember this, right? Turn off that light. Haven't done a video on it in a while. And this is why. Um, look at all the black beard algae all over the rocks. This tank is a mess. Fish are healthy. They're doing good. You can see right there. Got a few babies. That guy right there. <clears throat> that one was born in the tank. Actually, every all of them but five of these were born in the tank. So, uh, I don't know. Fish are all doing good. But, gotta do something about that BBA. <clears throat> Anyways, that's that. Now I should talk about fish are healthy. So used to look really nice. This tank is going to get a complete makeover. I just, uh, I need to buy the rocks and and uh, get some more shells for it. Because I'm not using those shells. But anyways, there they go. Very active. Very cool fish. Alright, so enough about that. There is, oh sorry. There's my 55. Now, this tank I don't know what happened. Some kind of plague struck my aquarium. I lost all of my angelfish, two of my pistos, almost all of my neon tetra. I've only got three neons left. I had like 20 in there. I lost three quarry catfish and a licorice garami. So, I don't know what happened. I could not figure it out. So, I'm a little discouraged with that. But, uh, fish are all doing, I mean, the fish that are left, anyways, seem to be doing good. I still got my, uh, male, um, Vegeta there. He's hiding. But, my female died and my other pisto died. Plants are doing decent. Especially these two swords over here, they're doing really good. There's a, the, they have the most new growth out of all the plants in my tank but my crypts are starting to do pretty good um, I mean they still look like crap but they're looking better than they were and my jungle valve is doing good there's a lot of new growth on the jungle valve um, kinda hard to tell with this but you see right there under the driftwood that's new growth so that's encouraging. I'm doing something right with the plants anyway. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. I just wanted to make a quick video and test out my camera. Let you get a look at the aquarium. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know what killed the fish in here, guys. I gotta. I'm kind of scared to restock it now. I'm definitely gonna start doing a quarantine tank because I think what may have happened is I introduced some neon tetras. And I think they may have transferred some kind of disease to my fish. 
And what was really weird is there was just no symptoms. They just died. They were fine one minute, then they were swimming weird, and then they died. So, I don't know. That's the most fish I've ever lost. I think I lost more fish in those two or three days than I did the whole time I've been keeping aquariums. So, I don't know what the deal is. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you think. Take it easy.